things just got real serious on The Flash. How serious did they get? Find out my recap and reaction of episode 20 of The Flash, The Trap. The episode opens where the last episode left off, with Team Flash in Dr. Wells' hidden chamber, looking at the future newspaper headline, which is filled with references to the future, including a byline by Iris West Allen. They talk with Gideon, learning that Wells came back in time to kill Barry, and the only reason he killed Nora was because he was mad that Barry got away. And maybe the most interesting of all, that Barry himself built Gideon, which comes in handy as she doesn't tell Wells about the team's visit to the chamber when he shows up. At Jitters, Eddie tells Joe that he plans to propose to Iris, and asks for his blessing because he's just a good guy like that. But to his surprise, Joe says no without really giving him a reason. The conversation is ended when Joe gets a call from Barry telling him and Eddie to meet up at Barry's house. At Barry's home, Team Flash meets up and he reveals to the group that he time traveled during his fight with the Weather Wizard. They come to the conclusion that Cisco's dreams aren't really dreams, but memories of the alternative timeline. They develop lucid dream goggles that will help Cisco remember everything that happened in the alternative timeline. While they're working on some of the details of the project, Dr. Wells enters, but they quickly throw him off with the story about the project being for public safety. He buys in and helps a bit, giving them a way to communicate with the dreamer from outside of the dream. Back at the police department, Captain Singh tells Barry never to get married, as his recent wedding plans have him more distracted than he wants to be. Barry then bumps into Iris, who wants to talk to him about something important, but before she can, Eddie pulls Barry aside and reveals he plans to propose to Iris. He then asks Barry if he can find out why Joe didn't give him his blessing. At Joe's house, Sisko enters his dream and starts narrating back to them what's happening. They learn that Wells is actually Eobard Dawn, and that he didn't plan to kill Nora, he was just there to kill Barry. Sisko tries to wake up, but can't until Wells kills him in his dream. Which leaves him pretty scared and pretty shaken up. As they finish up, Wells calls with an emergency for the Flash. There's a fire at a high rise where Captain Singh's fiance works. Inside of the office, the sprinklers aren't working and the whole floor is covered in flames. Barry creates a vacuum by rotating his arms at super speed to suck the air out of the room to kill the fire. His first attempt fails, but Wells gets him to try again. This time he succeeds in putting out the fire and saving everyone. At Star Labs, Wells is waiting for Barry and asks him why he was doubting himself. He also tells them that the only person who can stop Barry from accomplishing his goals is Barry himself. Before he leaves, Barry tells Wells that he couldn't have done any of this without him, and Wells says he feels the same way about Barry. While Team Flash is putting the final touches on the trap for Dr. Wells, Barry gets a text from Iris who wants to talk to him about something. He runs to see her when she gives him a file about the particle accelerator explosion. She thinks it's what caused all the strange events in town lately, including the Burning Man and the Flash himself. He tells her that he'll read it over and talk about it later. Then he leaves. She then has a flashback to when Barry was in a coma. She begs him to wake up, but nothing happens. She touches his hand and gets a little shock. At Star Labs, Caitlin sends Wells to the bunker to see Sisko. He takes off his glasses, then stands up and walks in like he did in the previous reality. They have a similar conversation from before, but Sisko doesn't manage to get a clear-cut confession from Wells about killing Barry's mom. Sisko backs up into the force field, which he reversed to keep any speedsters out. But to everyone's surprise, Wells walks straight through, causing Joe to shoot at Wells to protect Sisko. But Barry still needs to get a confession to save his dad. So he stops two of the three bullets, but the third strikes and kills Wells. Barry is upset about the lost opportunity to free his dad. But just then, Wells turns into Hannibal Bates, and the real Wells calls in saying he figured out their trap and he's been onto them this whole time. He promises Barry that they'll face each other soon. Barry runs to the hidden chamber and sees that the reverse flash suit is gone, and that Wells has been watching them everywhere, in their homes, the police station, and parts of Star Labs. Barry runs to find Iris, who's on the bridge, walking with Eddie, who's about to propose to her. Before he can, reverse flash attacks, knocking Eddie down. He's about to kill Iris when the Flash rescues her. The Reverse Flash takes Eddie as Barry tells her to go home. He touches her hands saying he'll take care of everything. When he does, she gets a little shock. Just like she did that night when Barry was in a coma. She puts together that he's the Flash. Reverse Flash reveals the truth about the family relation to Eddie, who's taking all this pretty well actually. In any case, Eddie is his insurance policy. 
We then get a flashback of Wells watching over Barry as he's in his coma, saying that fate is tricky. As he came here to kill the Flash, but to return to his time, he has to create the Flash. He tells Coma Barry that nothing is forgiven, and he promises that he will die. Things really picked up this episode, and I really enjoyed it. Some people complain about the whole Eddie and Iris thing. I don't really mind it, as their lives cross with Barry most of the time. Also, they're setting Eddie up as a good guy, and Will said that he was his insurance policy, so I'm wondering what he has planned for him. The one thing I'm questioning is Reverse Flash's whole plan to come back in time and kill Barry. If he did kill Barry when he was young, then there would be no Flash, which means there can't be a Reverse Flash, so basically he would paradox himself, right? Hopefully we get the answer. I really hope we do. Also hope we get to see Future Barry, because where is Future Barry at? Altogether another great episode and you shouldn't stop watching now. Next week we get Gorilla Grodd, which I was sure was going to be the main season 2 villain, and he still could be, but either way I'm super hyped to see him. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up, or check out some of the other videos we have on the channel. We'd really appreciate it.